First-person shooter games have arguably become the most popular genre of the art form, spawning plenty of sub-genres using the first-person perspective with adventure games like Elder Scrolls, the popular FromSoft made Kingsfield series, and puzzle games like the Tried and True Portal and the much newer Escape Simulator. First-person shooter games have cemented themselves into the persistence of video game popularity. One of the largest parts of first-person shooter history and video game history as a whole is movement tech. Movement tech or movement techniques are essentially ways to manipulate the moveset the studio provides the player to either gain faster movement, more evasive movement, or even become whatever the hell this is. What the hell? Movement techniques have become particularly popular in these past few years as games like Modern Warfare 2019, Rainbow Six Siege, and Apex Legends to name just a few have made a lasting impression on the genre. Every game has its own versions of movement, and while some may be close to still using the fundamental mechanics with alterations mostly showing in the frequency of using an evasive movement tactic, like at the instance of Rainbow Six Siege, players use the tilting function to move towards enemies aggressively while also staying evasive to any incoming bullets. While Rainbow Six was popularizing position-based mechanics, Modern Warfare 2019 popularized the slide canceling mechanic, which spawned from the idea to make slides faster and more frequent while also regenerating stamina faster than normally intended. The game wasn't necessarily all new for movement junkies, however, as it brought back a popular movement technique from back in the day of CSGO with a lesser yet still effective bunny hop. This movement tactic that was used so much in Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone 1 is now being used again in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. The movement technique is mostly gaining inspiration from the games that originally popularized it such as Valve games like Half-Life and Counter-Strike. And speaking of Valve games, I was surprised to hear that my personal favorite out of all of these shooter games, Apex Legends, is actually based on the Source engine. CSGO has popular mechanics like air strafing, bee hopping, and even crouched jumping. A game as old as CS still receives videos explaining to new players how to perform these old tricks even today. I believe the reason why is because of the older engine and because Valve doesn't mess with its players' dedication to learning new strategies for its games. Apex Legends only improves on the Source engine's movement capabilities. Apex constantly has new movement tricks thanks to there being a community dedicated to discovering new movement techniques. If you can remember just a few months back, Apex saw the drastic nerf of the tap strafing mechanic. Notice I said nerf as the mechanic is still possible in the game, but it was made to be harder to achieve to improve the skill ceiling for the overall movement meta. A couple months after this, a brand new popular mechanic came around in the vein of punch boosting. Players could simply crouch and punch while jumping to gain insane momentum down hills. The mechanic was promptly removed for being too fast for the average player to respond to whenever they were met with it. Now, of course, I'm a big fan of Apex, and uh, it was really hard to see the punch boosting mechanic go away, as it was really fun and brought a lot of life into the movement system, and it was something that pretty much anybody could really do. It was just very hard to respond to somebody that was coming in at that speed and could fire at you. What I'm even more upset about, though, is what is happening as a result of the launch of Modern Warfare 2 and subsequently Warzone 2. You see, as I explained earlier, Warzone had very simple yet effective movement mechanics. You had bunny hopping, very easy, controller, mouse and keyboard, both can pull it off, and then you also had slide canceling. Again, both can pull this off very easily. Apex Legends has very, very deep movement mechanics like wall bouncing, still bee hopping, tap strafing, regular strafing, super gliding, super jumping, uh, wild zipline jumping madness. You are done. It's almost too deep for me, even as a pretty high skill casual player, to even play myself and keep up with all the different mechanics and you know ways that you can really manipulate the move system on that game. 
Um, honestly, only maybe half of my friends will even try the game out with me because of that. With the addition of Activision's new blockbuster sequel, Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2, the movement system has seen drastic changes, and they've even gone so far as to neuter the movement that made Modern Warfare 2019 so popular. At first, I was very excited, and I even applauded them for the change. Uh, the beta felt very great, and you know everything was there, the slide was still there, but it was mostly meant for tucking to cover and out of enemy fire and the dolphin diving even returned, oddly enough, into a Modern Warfare game uh, as basically more so to just get out of situations quickly, dive into like windows, dive out of windows, all of that sort of stuff. I fell. The reason that I ended up applauding them for this change was, honestly, it made Call of Duty feel like Call of Duty again. You didn't really have the sliding mechanic that you had seen so much recently and, you know, it was a real big departure from of course the booster pack time that we had um, and it was really nice it felt like I was playing a genuine Call of Duty game like Modern Warfare 3 again until it wasn't oh my god bro oh hell no man what the fuck man no 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 fuck I'm making an example out of Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 because in the first game, there wasn't much of a problem. Controller players and mouse and keyboard players could slide, cancel, and bunny hop relatively easily. Uh, with Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, it's created this new skill ceiling, but really just kind of more of a divide in a way, where not many people can perform any of the tricks really, not even mouse and keyboard players. Um, and now you've got people that are discovering things like this G-Walk and you know, now this dolphin dive out of a window and bounce on it thing, uh, and they're not telling anybody about it because they know that it'll just be patched the next day. Even in the beta before the actual game's release, you saw people learning how to slide cancel with the new movement system before the game was even out. I believe personally that nerfing or neutering simple yet effective movement tricks is only going to provoke your players to discover more severe damaging exploits in your movement system which will have an overall more adverse effect on your game as a whole. While other games like Apex do situate themselves in a higher skill bracket for harder movement techniques, Warzone is the casual player's party land and allowed players to speed around the map, look cool with bunny hops and slide cancels, but now it's left to only the most hardcore players to pull off these coveted techniques and shit on the restless skulls of casual players just trying to have fun with the game. Warzone 2 hopefully will find a way to restore some of the former movement system and give players some of the power back, but right now it's kind of left in a weird spot where movement is really for pros and whoever the hell is figuring out these crazy tricks. But uh, this has been Twinrova, and thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon.